back to my channel. So today I'm going to be kind of starting like a little like series episode episode thing. I'm going to be recreating different Halloween looks that I find on like Pinterest, Instagram, TikTok, just wherever I find them from. And I'm going to be recreating them all Halloween or all October. I don't know how many of these videos I'm actually going to be doing, but I hope to do a lot of them because I really love Halloween. It is my favorite holiday. It is just like, I love the entire month of October. I just don't even know how to describe my love for it. I just absolutely adore October and I really wanted to do something fun this year. Last year I did a look or two. I think I just did one or two maybe. I don't know. Know. But this year I want to try to do a lot more because I know you guys love when I do those types of videos So yeah, I thought that would be something fun for us to do this year And actually tonight I was scrolling through TikTok and I saw this makeup artist do this look and I was like wow That would be perfect to start off my little series thing But it is by a makeup artist named Michaela and I will insert it right here I'm not sure if this is her original look or if she found this from somewhere else and like recreated it or what But I'm going to be attempting to recreate her look. She's an insane makeup artist So I am not going to be able to do this anywhere near as good as her but we're gonna try <laughs> first I'm gonna go in with a little bit of skincare I'm just gonna use these Noxzema ultimate whatever cleansing pads I love these they're super good I've, they've been helping with my acne as you can see my face is really really pimply and scabby because I keep picking at my scabs and my hands are dirty and when I pick up them it just like creates more acne so I've been trying to like wash my face every single day and do like super extra skincare just so I could try to make it go away a little bit sooner I'm going to be trying to use up my skincare products because I literally get so many skincare products and I do not use them. So I'm going to try to use them up. But I have this, these drops, this serum. I honestly don't really know what serums are for. So if someone could tell me down below, that'd be great. I have the super oil, this eye cream. I just have so much stuff. Today I'm going to use this 111 skin and this Pontex eye cream as like my base. I don't know if this is going to like mix really bad with the Noxima wipes. Hopefully not. Real quickly, I'm just going to do my eye off camera because it's kind of boring but I'm just using my elf and then I'm gonna like cut them with concealer and put some brow gel in them. I use the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade fair warm to conceal underneath my eyebrows as well as prime for my eyeshadow. The one thing I really like but I also really dislike is how fast this concealer dries. It dries super quick so you have to like work quickly but then again it's also really nice because it just dries so it doesn't really like crease that much or do like stuff like that because it like dries and really Really sets into your skin. For my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the Morphe 35B, which just looks like this. And I'm pretty sure they discontinued it whenever they made the James Charles palette, but I have that one. And then I'm also going to be using the BH Cosmetics 88 Matte Eyeshadow Palette as well. Okay, so I now have my reference photo, and it looks like she has darker green and then a lighter green. Okay, so firstly, what I'm doing is I'm gonna just take a fluffier brush. I'm just gonna kind of go in with like a light green eyeshadow and just kind of blend that in more towards the top, just to kind of get a base, because you kind of want to go from lighter to darker because if you start dark it's kind of harder to blend more so you kind of want to make a gradient effect also you guys i am not like great at makeup so please don't have like high standards for this i used to be a lot better when i like consistently played in makeup but now i kind of don't do makeup like that often i really honestly hardly wear makeup anymore but when i used to i used to be a lot better but now my skills are definitely really rusty so don't have high standards okay so now we have this and i'm just gonna take another brush just to kind of blend it out just a little bit more honestly you just want to make it to where your eyeshadows can really blend together um, and honestly I might be able to just do this whole look with the BH cosmetics palette but but if I need any specific color that works better in the morphe palette then I'm definitely gonna use that palette but this is also a really nice like affordable palette that has a lot of colors as well okay so now I'm gonna go in with this shade it's just a little bit darker and I'm just gonna go in and try to apply this a little bit lower than where I did that one so more so in the actual crease and the brush that I'm using for this is the Morphe M330 and the one that I was using before is the Elizabeth Mott tapered blending brush. I really like this one because it kind of has a pointy top but it's also really fluffy so it's really good for blending but also better for like crease work because you can really like control with like the tip of it. I'll say my biggest tip with like doing um, more in intricate looks um, definitely it takes a lot longer time and if the more slower and like harder you like work at it I guess you could say like the more um, precise you try to be and slower you take it then the better it turns out because if you're trying to just like rush a super intricate look it's definitely not going to turn out how you want it so I would definitely advise you to just kind of work slower okay and then I'm going to go back in with the Elizabeth Mott brush 
brush and just kind of blend them two together just so it doesn't look so like it aligned it looks kind of blended up to each other and I'm actually gonna go in with my morphe m 35b and I'm gonna take this really really dark green at the bottom but I'm gonna take it very very lightly because this is kind of dark and we want to build like I said you don't want to just kind of just smack on the dark so I'm just gonna take a little bit on the tip of this brush and place it where I want it and then just kind of work in there my eyes are a lot smaller so I kind of have to place my shadows a lot higher because if not you can't really see the look on my eye and there you can see the colors really starting to show through because we're working kind of slowly and blending rather than just like stacking it up there and then having to blend it out we're kind of doing it layer by layer again I'm going to go back in with my Elizabeth brush and I'm just going to go in to try to blend these together just to make everything look a little bit more gradient and then it looks like she has a cut crease I'm just going to go back in with my elf color concealer or whatever and I'm just going to take my brush I'm just using this real techniques detailer brush and I just kind of pull it to make it really flat and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this concealer not much and we're going to go ahead and start to cut the crease especially for eyes like mine when doing this I like to make sure my eyes are wide open because whenever you do it with your eyes closed and you do it where your crease actually is like closed whenever you open up your eyes you can't even see the crease or the cut crease so I like to do it with my eyes open if that makes sense all right so this is the best I've got so it's just what we're gonna have to go with but I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and try to like kind of pat this in a little bit and then I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush and the white and the 35b palette and just pack this on top to set the concealer okay so now for the really hard part the webs or the eyeliner part I'm actually super scared for this part because I am not greatest at stuff like this I have so many liquid eyeliners right here you guys I have so many I think the first one that I'm going to use is this one right here I don't know what it's called but it just looks like that and all right we're gonna just get started I am so nervous and this is gonna take extreme focus like extreme Okay guys, I did it finally and it took so long and it was so hard her lines look so good I don't know if y'all can see that but whoa literally mine compared to hers Mine looks like complete crap compared to hers, but it's okay because from far away You're not even gonna be able to tell guys. This looks so bad. <laughs> okay. Anyways, we're just gonna keep we're gonna keep moving now really quickly I'm just gonna do my mascara and put on my lashes and I'll be right back I just got done putting on my lashes and I used the dollar lash club in the style dollar lash club in the style Lexi So those are the lashes that I have on now now I'm gonna go in and do my face makeup So I'm just gonna be using the same elf concealer, but in another shade and just put this on my face I like this concealer a lot so I'm just gonna be using it for my foundation and I'm just gonna use a damp beauty blender to blend it in it's really important when using this product to work in sections because it does dry really really fast so that's exactly what I'm doing right now is working in sections this shade was light peach and now I'm going back in with the other shade and just doing it under my eyes I just went in with some Cody Airspun powder and put on some bake really quick now I'm gonna go in with my makeup forever matte velvet skin powder and i'm just gonna grab a like condensed face brush i'm like really going through this i love it a lot and then i'm just going to compact this all over the face if your foundation or concealer doesn't cover up your acne all the way seriously this is so good it just goes in and adds that like last layer without having to put on so much concealer you know and then now i'm gonna wipe away my bake with that same brush okay so now that we have our face done i'm gonna go back in with my morphe m35 
And I'm gonna go in with this little pinky shade right here, pinky purpley shade. I'm just gonna get that on the tip of a kind of a fluffier brush. And I'm just gonna start by doing this on the lower lash line. And still again, working little by little, just because these eyeshadows are so pigmented. I honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I definitely should have made a TikTok transformation video for when I post this video, but of course I didn't because I didn't think. And then I'm gonna go in with a more like dense brush and then I'm gonna go in with that purple shade and I'm gonna apply that closer to the lash line itself. Okay, and now I'm gonna just go back in with some mascara. I use the Lash Sensational. I really like this one for like my first layer of mascara or my waterline because it's really dry and I hate wearing like super wet eyeliner on my bottom because my lashes are kind of long. So when I put on like fresh mascara, it makes them like literally spider lashes and it just looks weird. Okay, and then there's that. That. My eyes part right here is definitely a lot greener than hers. Hers honestly looks like kind of silvery, but I I did the best I could at this point. Now I'm going to do bronzer. I'm going in with the Maybelline New York City bronzer. This one's kind of light, so I feel like it'll be good. I'm just using this e.l.f. buffing foundation brush. It's actually really good for bronzer, I feel, especially this one because it's kind of super light, so it doesn't show up a lot. So I really like using this compact brush because it gives it a really nice look, but it also doesn't look like I have too much bronzer on which I can definitely do a lot sometimes. Okay, I like that first layer, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit with this bronzer. This is the Essence Sun Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Natural. And I'm just gonna kind of add a little bit more color, making sure it's very minimal because I don't want too much. Now I'm gonna use the same bronzer and just use a smaller brush and I'm going to contour my nose. I'm not gonna go with some blush. I'm gonna use the Kylie Close to Perfect. This blush is super natural and really pretty. I love blush, so I literally put it everywhere. And then for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Ofra X Nikki Tutorials Glazed Donut. It just looks like this. It's so, so pretty. I'm just gonna use a smaller brush to apply it on my nose. And then I'm just going to be using a bigger brush to apply it to my cheek. I don't really like super bold highlight. I just kind of like a natural highlight. Unless it's on my nose, then I kind of like like a little bit more of a pop in highlight but I don't really use the whole like setting spray method anymore because I feel like it's way too harsh whenever I do it that way and plus this highlighter you can tell that you really don't need it <laughs> all right and now the last step is to do the lips and I'm just gonna be using a eyeliner to do so firstly I'm just gonna use this one that I have and just kind of line my lips I'm really not good at doing lips so please don't judge freak I messed up my lips look at this all right there we go I finished the the makeup look. This honestly took me really long. I started this probably at like 9 something and it's already 11.15 but this is the look This was super fun to recreate. I definitely did not do anywhere as good as Michaela. She is a literal queen and I absolutely stand her. So yeah, if you guys do not follow Michaela already on TikTok, you should definitely go follow her. I'll put her stuff right here. But yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And that's all I have for you guys. So I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.